Hi everyone, welcome to video number two. This is what I would classify as being the colourful collection. Uh, we've got some real stunners to show you and I'm going to crack on straight away. But we're going to start off with two of the most expensive bears that we've ever done at Charlie Bears. So this here is Cupid. Oh my word, she is just absolutely fantastic. And something which Charlie would not have been without in the collection. All of the detailing on this particular bear and the other one that I'm going to show you in a minute is in fact um, all hand stitched on. It takes up to three and a half days to create every single piece with all of the bits and pieces that are stitched onto the bear. In terms of the feather, this is marabou feather. Uh, and again, it's, it's farmed in a completely humane way. There's nothing to worry about there. Uh, and we actually take those and uh, stitch those into the bear. This particular one is called Cupid because she's got her bow and arrow. How this came about, this is actually a very, very old Isabel code. And this actually came about, it was supposed to be an exclusive for a shopping channel in Germany many, many years ago. And this was before Charlie and I actually took on the brand of the Isabel collection. And Charlie saw this picture as a prototype, um, which was never ran with. Um, and basically absolutely fell in love with the bear. Didn't care how much it cost, it had to make it into the collection, simple as that. So on Cupid we've made a limited to only 200 pieces. It's going to be a real tough bear to find. She does stand on her own but she is absolutely a statement piece in the whole collection. She is just absolutely stunning. So moving on to her friend. If you can get hold of Cupid, or maybe you can get hold of them both, um, you've always got the beautiful light pink one, Aphrodite. <sighs> Words cannot describe how beautiful this bear is and the amount of work that goes into creating every single bear. If I just show you on the arm there, look, all of these pieces, all of these beads have all been individually strung and then stitched into the bear. So, and that's the case on the feet as well, if I just show you the feet, and on the legs. And then she's got this beautiful little uh, necklace around her, her, her neck with um, like beautiful little piece doves on there. Uh, just absolutely stunning. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back, uh, so you can see a little little tassely headdress. Just absolutely stunning. Okay, so moving on to the next page of the brochure, we move on to Crockett, one of the teddy bear detectives. I know you're all teddy detectives out there, so this one is Crockett. Uh, you want blue? We got blue. And this is Crockett, absolutely stunning. This is a real tough one to get across on photographs, because obviously um, if you get the light wrong, then you get too dark. If it's, if it's too bright, then obviously the, the, the colour comes across. Um, but just a beautiful one for your collection, which is why we've actually put the kind of alpaca face on there as well. Uh, so this is Crockett, Teddy Detectives, Think Miami Vice. That's where that comes from. Say hello to Crockett. Okay, moving on. We can't have one Teddy Detective without another. So we have to go with, and this is Marples. Oh my word, what a stunning, stunning colour. This is almost like a kind of an aubergine colour, a very, very dark, rich colour, uh, which again, doesn't necessarily come out on the uh, photographs. It can sometimes look kind of grey, um, even black. Um, she has actually got some black alpaca just on, a, on the ends of her paws um, on here. Um, but all of this is like a deep kind of um, purpley aubergine, beautiful, very, very deep, rich colour. And again, with a little raggedy scarf on and uh, little rose details and things like that, she's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, she is limited to 400 pieces. Okay, next we have the Naval Boys. We brought out a couple of bears, which are both naval nicknames so this particular one this is Jack Dusty essentially in the Navy if you worked in the stores you were called a Jack Dusty and that's where that came about from and this is Charlie's dad gave us some ideas about some of the kind of uh, names and nicknames and things like that that we, we, we got in the uh, in the Navy um, 
green has been one of the most popular colours that we ever do at Charlie Bears. Most collectibles, most people actually just going for them. So this is just a beautiful kind of very dark uh, green uh, colouring uh, and got some bits of black and dark brown in there. It's just absolutely beautiful. This big old bell. Uh, Jack Dusty limited to uh, 450 pieces. So there we go. That's our Jack Dusty. He's lovely. Absolutely lovely. And a very classic traditional Isabel design. Loose jointed and just lots of lots of fun. The next one, and I do apologise, I haven't researched this, but apparently Wiggy is also another naval name. Uh, so perhaps you can uh, add to the bottom of this video and let everybody know what Wiggy is. Uh, but it's something to do with the Navy apparently. Uh, and again, green again. So there we go. So a very, very popular colour within the collection. So limited to only 300 pieces this one. Um, so going to be quite a difficult one to find. So we go. That's our Wiggy. Just give him a little spin down so you can see his body. Charlie likes teddy bear's bodies. There we go. That's our wiggy. Okay, where are we next? Next, okay. We are on to bubble and squeak. Right, make sure I get it the right way around. This is squeak, this is bubble. Now, they both have the same limited edition number. They are, in fact, sold separately. So you don't actually have to buy these as a pair but we will actually be sending out match numbers to all of our stockists now if you want to buy a matched pair of these this is really important you need to speak to your local stockist to try and buy them as a match set so we keep details of all of the numbers that we send to all our stockists and we will send them out as match numbers so it's down to them then to make sure that they're getting to you as a match set uh, so these are beautiful I will tell you that these two are, in fact, the last in the series of mice. Um, these, he's got his own little lovely tail, you see, right? and he's got a lovely tail there as well. Um, so this is the last set of mice that we're ever going to do. We've actually done four sets before, so people will remember bears like Brian Camembert and bears like that, dog mice like that. So uh, this is the last of the set, Bubble and Squeak. So that is five sets in the whole series and Charlie has promised me that that is the last time we're going to do mice as a pairing. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning bears. Mice. Characters. Friends. There we go. That's Bubble and, Squ Bubble and Squeak. Uh, we then move on to Fitzroy. Where are you Fitzroy? Here you are. Fitzroy, green again, and this is kind of a British racing green, a really deep, beautiful kind of, and that lovely kind of, almost silvery colour mohair on, and to kind of accentuate him, he's a panda, right? What collection will be complete without some pandas in it? You know, there's plenty in this collection for, for everybody. So again, this is Fitzroy, he's limited to 350 pieces, uh, and again, quite a decent sized bear actually is Fitzroy. Uh, and Charlie says that he's been incredibly popular uh, within the collection. So there we go. That's our Fitzroy. Okay, moving on. We have Pookie. Be very careful how I say that. So this is Pookie. Uh, Pookie is 100% mohair, limited to only 350 pieces. Uh, and she, he is 14 inches. I'm not sure whether it's a she or a he, I would say Pookie. It's a, it's a little girl, I think, with that colour. Uh, a beautiful, kind of sky blue colour. Um, and then uh, it's kind of sky blue tipped over a white mohair. So, again, absolutely beautiful. Going back to some of tr Isabel's tr traditional faces that we ever used to do. Uh, so, that is Pookie. And if you like Pookie, you might want to go for something like Snugglebug to go with her. That's almost going back to your traditional kind of golden mohair, just absolutely beautiful. It's almost touching on, on kind of light pale yellow. Um, washed out pastels are very, very popular this year. 
and uh, we've gone for that in both Pookie and in Snugglebug. Um, Snugglebug is limited to 400, uh, and he is slightly bigger at 15 inches, so you can see there's a very slight size difference in the two. So that is Snugglebug, Pookie. Pookie, Snugglebug. Okay, so that's them two little fellas. A little girl and little fella. Then we move on to the bee's knees. This is a Yorkshire saying, when something's absolutely superb, we have many different sayings, um, but you can also say it's the bee's knees. That's the nice way of saying it. So there we go, this is the bee's knees. It's a good old Yorkshire saying, green again. So there we go, green and white, and kind of touching on being a panda. Yeah, it's a panda. Uh, so I would classify that as a panda anyway because it's got a kind of different kind of colouring. Uh, but again, lovely. Bees knees, limited to uh, just 350 pieces uh, and stands around 18 inches in height. So that is our bees knees. Big old bell around his neck. There we go. You really are the bees knees. There we go. Bell. Again, I would suggest kind of going back to uh, one of Isabel's traditional designs. This is a very, very traditional, very old mohair that we've used here, um, which is kind of uh, purple and blue tips uh, to this uh, to this mohair. But again, you know, it's something which Charlie kind of goes back into the archives and looks around the bears that we've done in the past and tries to kind of give them a, a modern day feel. And this is where Belle came about from. So just absolutely stunning with a beautiful kind of purple organza bow. So there we go. That's our bell, limited to uh, 300 pieces. So she's gonna be a tough one to find, I'm afraid. You know, like I said, we have well over 300 stockists worldwide that stock the Isabel collection. Uh, so there won't be one being sent to every single store, um, which is sad, but you know, we've got to keep these limits nice and low. There we go, that's our bell. Okay, let's put some color in the proceedings. And we'll start with, whoa, jelly bean. So, you know, we, we needed to put some, um, a lot of people said to us, well, Charlie, we really want to see some kind of bright colours in the collection. So we essentially looked for the brightest colours that we could find uh, and brought it out to you. So this is jelly bean. Um, not my cup of tea, I have to say, because I don't normally, I normally go for the more traditional colours, but the girls absolutely love her. So jelly bean, you can imagine dipping into that bag and picking out a little pink one. There we go. Absolutely stunning. She, she is lovely, but just not my cup of tea. Okay, moving on. You want some more colour? How about something Satsuma coloured? There we go. This is Mandarin. Oh my word. You don't get much brighter than that, I have to say. And this is limited to 350 pieces. Again, one of the difficult things in a catalogue is to actually give you exactly the colour we try. It's a very, very hard job that we do. Our photographer is very good, um, but he could never get the perfect colour in. And there's nothing like seeing him in the fluff if he can. Um, but, you know, this is a good way of showing you exactly what Mandarin looks like, but just absolutely stunning been incredibly popular uh, and I think he's probably going to be one of those kind of cheesecake bears for me um, that is going to be difficult to find and it's going to eventually make it onto the secondary market and she ain't going to be the original retail price that's my own personal feeling so that is Mandarin so that's it for the Isabel collection I hope you've uh, probably found, and I do apologise, I hope you've been kind of ticking off the book and kind of coming along with me. I'm sure there's been some that you've kind of looked at and thought, oh my word, that's delicious. Well, if you have, then that was what this video is all about. It's just to give you a different kind of perspective of the whole collection. Stay with us. We've got the Minimo and the key rings to show you next. Uh, and that's your lot.